Is your mentor, do you have a mentor, and is your mentor different from your preceptor? We do have mentors that are assigned to us if we choose to get one, both from um, Rutgers side of it as well as from our individual companies. So it's, it's really invaluable. They not only have gone through the fellowship program, but some of them are within our companies as well. So they give you kind of like uh, this, this information that you wouldn't honestly get from your preceptor, which is, I think, very helpful, um, particularly if they're in your department. So I know my mentor is. And she can really give me insight into opportunities that I can look into outside of my preceptor. And that's something that, you know, I wouldn't necessarily go to my preceptor for. Oh, by the way, you're really not helping me here, but, you know, I want to do this. So um, even though it's important to, to kind of lead towards that with your preceptor, it really helps when you have someone outside of it to help you. One important thing, too, to realize is that having a mentor doesn't necessarily have to involve a set up kind of meeting. I mean, these things happen over lunch or just in a water cooler conversation. I mean, there's often times where I've just asked somebody to have a coffee and, you know, just to go over some things. So uh, look for those kind of opportunities as well. And I definitely agree with Vicki. Um, don't discount mentors that you've had in the past. I mean, we all have them. We wouldn't be here today if we didn't. So, I mean, look for your former professors or former employers. I know I leverage those relationships all the time too. Um, and then at the same time, we're going to continue to cultivate and grow professionally, and we'll probably get more mentors. But I would say that for all of us to start to look for experiences that we can bring back and pay forward so we can become mentors too.